Kia ora and welcome to Wake Up New Zealand. I'm Lucy Page Matthews. And I'm Dyslexic Man Nun. In today's story, a new crime wave is sweeping the country. The form of woolen graffiti. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak. We help them find it and the latest weather updates. But first, a story that is going to turn your world upside down. If you think the world is getting more and more topsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside-down house which rests on its roof. Inside, there are beds screwed into the ceiling, upside-down wardrobes, an upside-down kitchen, and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our reporter, Haris. Hmm. Um, so, what made you decide to build this upside-down house? Uh, I, I just looked at the blueprint upside down and it just sort of turned out like this. It was, it was purely accidental. Entirely on accident. Okay, that's good to know. What's your favorite thing about living in a house that's completely upside down? There are no favorite things. It's hell in here. And a pea standing on my head. Don't question how that works. Um, okay. What are some of the challenges of living in this house? Uh, it's quite hard to have guests over. You know, they're not used to living upside down. <coughs> oh, <coughs> okay. Well, thank you, Sammy Severed and your assistant. Uh, uh, that's just body. Okay, Severed and body. Um, back to you, Lucy and dyslexic m m man. Wow, those houses are just really crazy. Now for a story that is truly out of sight. Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak, which can hide objects behind, by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility cloak, scientists have been having real trouble finding it. The inventor says, as soon as you put it down, it just disappears. Uh, hoping to see through uh, um, reasons behind the invisibility cloak, here we have ha our reporter, Hadiz. Hello, I am Hadiz, and I am here with sketchy scientist number three. He's one of the scientists behind the invisibility cloak, so let's hear what he has to say. So... What made you want to invent an invisibility cloak? I thought I could make a lot of money selling it to the United States military. That's slightly concerning, but okay. Can you show me how it works? Well, uh, as you see, there's nothing here. Boom, instant homeless man, hidden by the cloak. Please, money. Yeah, that's pretty much it. What do you hope to do with this cloak? Sell it to the United States military. They pay a lot for this stuff. Interesting. Well, that makes things very clear. Um, back to you guys at the studio. Thanks, Haris. Next up, there's a new wave of graffiti crime covering the country thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Knitters. I used to date a girl who uh, did a lot of knitting. She was 76. Without permission, these woolly criminals are covering tree branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of night. Police say we are stitching together a case, but there is no real pattern to the crimes. We cross now to the creature with an exclusive interview. Thanks, fellas. I'm here with, uh, what was your name again? Uh, Joel. I'm here with Joel, a known member of the Midnight Knitters. Now, Joel, what made you turn to this life of crime? Um, it gives me a real sense of euphoria. Don't like that. So, um... What's it like in this dark criminal underworld that you call your stingy little greasy home? 
I'm good fun. That's fair. And um, so what, what made you join the Midnight Knitters, you know, in the first place? Um, recommended by close friends. Do we have their names? Um, Daniel. Continue. This is my only friend. <laughs> All right. Well, ah, well, the police will be coming in in about an hour, so just stay right here. And uh, back to you in the studio. That's funny. We're up to you. Well, at least I'll be warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now let's have a look at our weather up and down the country with Hadiz. What's the story there, my friend? Um, thank you, dyslexic man. In Auckland, there will be a mixture of fair conditions and unfair conditions. But those are conditions you'll have to deal with, so deal with it. If you have any problems, just contact a lawyer. There will be no weather at all in Hamilton. He's taking a short break, but he's expected to be back for the weekend. Wellington will have another. Oh, wait. There's no wind at all. Everybody, please do your best. Try and keep calm and just carry on with your life. I know this will be very hard for you, seeing that Wellington is always windy, but you'll just have to deal with it. Christchurch. Mm. Well, that that's going to be cold and unfriendly and dead. Nobody likes that place. Sorry, I can't say that. Christchurch is an amazing place. Everybody loves that place. There will be lots of sun. So enjoy your time, Christchurch. That's all from me. Now back to the news desk with Dyslexic Man and Lucy. Well, uh, that's all we have time for. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'm Dyslexic Man Man. And I'm Lucy Page Matthews from Wake Up New Zealand. Goodbye. Cheers. I thought we were saying cheers. 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 cheers.